oh hello don't mind me i'm just looking at pitcan island hi all it's me sorry i'm feeling very dramatic today behind me is the home of some of the hms bounty mutineers mutiny on the mount bounty the book the movies if you haven't heard it it's interesting it's not a long history look it up it's interesting um they mutiny mutinied I don't know my mutiny me verbs. They mutinied and set the captain adrift. They knew the captain would come back to get them. So some of them came to live here. All of the people, 47 people who live here, are descendants from those mutineers. Um, it's a beautiful island, but as I say when I'm filming, I think it would be a very tough life. Um, I don't, some of the mutineers didn't live very long. Uh, one lived quite a long time and became governor. I'll tell you more as we're looking at the island. Um, we can't actually go on the island. It's just not big enough. There's not even really a port. People have come on to sell things, which has been crazy because we've been at sea for a couple days now. We're desperate to shop or do anything, so it's nuts. But um, we've been going around the island. Gorgeous views absolutely stunning and obviously I'm a Marlon Brando fan so Meet Me on the Bounty is one of his movies at least one version of Meet Me on the Bounty is so I know the history and it's crazy to think that I'm here or I've read about this and somewhere this is Bounty Bay right here beside me so somewhere here here is the HMS Bounty. They burned it and it's gotta be under the water here somewhere. They know where it is, I just don't. Fabulous. And we've got a gorgeous day for just riding around an island, don't we? Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. These are called Matt's Rocks.
this looks like a cave. I can't really, the sun's in my eyes, I can't see very well, but that looks like a cave. This little rocky bit, sorry, I'm bouncing everywhere. Um, looks like the only semi-beach looking thing here. Not really a beachy island, much more dramatic. Very pretty. Just random pine trees on the top. So from the map, we think, and we're pretty sure, that this bay in here is Drop Rope Bay. And this little outcrop of rocks there is Nancy Stones. We don't have names for a lot of places on here, but those are two. Drop Rope Bay looks gorgeous. better view of the bay as we're going around. There are more stones here than I realized. So these were Nancy's stones and then just around the island where that ship is, that is Adam's Rock. Coming back around to the front, and that's Bounty Bay. So somewhere around here, the HMS Bounty is sunken under the water. They set it on fire. Um, I think they've recovered some parts from it, but most of it's still under the water somewhere.
and you can see the houses starting to come into view there. Pitcairn has 47 inhabitants, all descendants from the HMS Bounty Mutineers. And from what we read, they've had a, the mutineers that came here had a pretty tough life. There's nothing here. I don't know how you, you can't even plant things. So was, their life was pretty tough for them here. There's some of the dwellings. And Aiden just reminded me it was not only the mutineers, it was the Tahitian women they brought with them. So this is the Bounty Bay Passage that we are in. And that is Bounty Bay. So that is Pitcairn Island all the way around it. It's a beautiful island, but I think it'd be a tough life. Especially back in the day when you didn't have a lot of ships coming for supplies and things. This is Matt's Rocks. Um, we saw this going the other direction, but we've turned around now. We're getting ready to head out. Look at how blue. This is almost like a, I don't know, turquoise sapphire blue. The Pacific, South Pacific is here. Thanks so much for watching. I'm on an amazing adventure with cruises in South Africa and a world cruise that has ports in Europe, South America, Australia, New Zealand, and Asia. So click the Travels with V and Steve icon below to subscribe so you don't miss a video.